Free Willy. Met Tom, Justin en Elliot van Editors. Willy. Music Matters. Hi there, this is Tom from Editors. And this hour I'm taking over on Willy. Name one artist or band who inspired you when Editors started. Elbow. Um... We were studying in Stafford, so we were kind of between uh, Birmingham and Manchester. And um, yeah, me and Russell especially started to go to shows, and Elbow were a band that we kind of formed our friendship over. Asleep at the Back was a record that came out um, that year. And uh, so yeah, I remember uh, <laughs> being in Russell's dorm, uh, listening to that record. Sounds horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> there were no girls, man. It was Stafford University. Yeah. Um, just nerds. It was just... <laughs> it was just nerds um, But yeah, so we used to go to Manchester City shows And we went uh, to see Elbow Around the time they were touring this And um, yeah, it was a very um, Powerful show You know, they're, I mean they're a band that kind of speak to us Like uh, the, the Interesting music is kind of passionate It's kind of, you know, stirring stuff And yeah um, he's, a, he's a poet guy And uh, we were lucky enough after, after a few singles um, before we'd made the record, the debut album, but we'd had a single out or two, we um, we hooked up with Elbow, and they liked what we were doing, and they produced a song that turned into a B-side of ours at the time. So we spent some time hanging out in Manchester, going to Big Hands with um, Guy and Craig, Classic. drinking um, a lot. Uh, Elbow can drink. Um, it was good fun. Which is your favourite editor's album, and why? Um... Oh, it's a tough one. Probably in Dream. Because it's the one that we she did ourselves. And um, and it was great to decamp to the middle of nowhere on the western coast of Scotland. And it was literally just us, a bit of recording gear in the middle of nowhere for quite an extended period of time. In terms of like making the record that was that's up there but I think the sounds that we made on the record like No Harm's my favourite editor's tune and uh, that was like the first track that came together properly whilst we were doing that session so so yeah I'd say In Dream What was your favourite gig in Belgium with editors? I think yeah we, it's going to have to be the Rock Vector in 2012 I think it's been a it was a pretty historic night in the story of the band you know obviously me and justin had just joined and that was kind of our first proper show and there was quite a lot riding on it i guess if if that show had, hadn't worked out then i don't know if we would still be here now so um it was pretty special and i don't think you have too many moments like that where there's just there's a certain magic in the air and the audience are fully behind you as well as just coming together as a band and um having that sort of communal out of body experience is, is pretty hard to come by so yeah I think that is definitely that's definitely the one What is your first memory of coming to Belgium with editors? I think I remember um, well I know I remember um, the first Verkter in the tent when we played um, we were playing a Talking Heads cover at the time Road to Nowhere and um <laughs> yeah, seeing everyone or hearing everybody sing the song that wasn't our own um, was was a moment. Yeah, oh, I don't think anything more interesting than that. Who has the nastiest behaviour on the tour bus and why? Uh, I'm probably the last person you can ask this question to because I don't travel on the tour bus. But when, when I have, you do, but when I'm on the tour bus, Russell Leach. Yeah, <laughs> um, and it's not like nasty might be the wrong one. Yeah, he's not nasty, not nasty but he's the most. Well, he's the most boisterous. Boisterous over the top member of the band by by a few if you've seen the film remarks. Beethoven yeah that's um, Russell <laughs> yeah um, so I'd, I'd say the literally I think everyone in the band would answer the same ironically he's quite tidy though yeah yeah he's very tidy yeah, yeah. so he'll always tidy probably the tidy, tidiest on the bus he will make a mess <laughs> but he'll be spotless afterwards <laughs> when he's you know so would it name one song from the last 15 years that you wish you had written oh that's a tough one that's a good question. In the last 15 years? Yeah. Ooh. Well, um, so maybe I just pick something that made loads of money? Just pick a banger. Like Katy Perry's Raw. It's uh, a banger. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you'd write that. Yeah, I mean, it would have been pretty... pretty. Um, Not quite as convincing coming from you. Pretty cool to... I mean, lucratively to, to have written one of those Adele songs. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're good songs as well. They are good um, songs. 
is last night by the Strokes in the last 15 years? Just a, no, no, it's not. Got it's your a, song. Oh, I love that Got Your Song. Yeah. What's it called? Um, somebody Twinkle that Twinkle Little Star, that one. Blah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Share your best Spinal Tap moment with the band. There was that time that we went to uh, that festival in Denmark and you had to drive in that... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That was a little bit Spinal Tap, yeah. We were going from Zurich up to Denmark. Yeah. And our flight got cancelled. So we flew via Hamburg and I hired a family car and drove everyone to the festival, including the tour manager. And the luggage. And, and the, the luggage. luggage. With everything yeah. on our laps, and we turned up yeah. with the security, and we, and we were up. like, "Yeah, we're playing the festival." And yeah, like, rocked no, up to the not. festival, convinced them that we were playing the festival, and got in. Yeah, I've got loads left. Here we go. Right, could you define a moment when you realised editors were going to make it? I knew we were on something very early. If I'm being honest, I remember writing bullets in the rehearsal room, um, and just feeling the energy when the chords kind of came together with Chris and the way he was playing guitar. I was like, ah. This sounds proper. I can imagine people um, being interested in this. I don't, you know, I never. Uh, I don't know. I don't. You think you can predict what's going to happen? But I knew there was something special going on in that room that afternoon at university. Of that, obviously, when you two joined, oh, you know, well, yeah. obviously when we to- when yeah. we joined. Of all the famous people and musicians you have met over the years, who inspired or surprised you the most? It was inspirational touring with REM, but that's a very obvious thing for me to say. Um, Who's been a bit more surprising over the years? There's been um, 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 the Polish metal band guy, singer of Behemoth. Behemoth, Behemoth. yeah. He was, yeah. he was a lovely fella. He was rocking out to the acoustic set in Poland. Yeah. And who else we met? Who's cool? Robert Smith was pretty cool. We met him. Robert Smith was awesome. We met Rob quite recently. We were hanging out with him after playing. It was an absolute joy. It was inspiring watching The Cure. Uh, we did three shows over the last year or so, and um, on the third one we. Um, yeah, we got, we were hanging out, and he was chatting to us about Glastonbury and stuff. Yeah, it was very cool. It was really sound. Yeah, it, it was inspiring. Yeah. Of all of the songs editors have written in the last fifteen years, which one are you most proud of? It's a tricky one. I mean, people always say like your songs, or maybe you, maybe they call them maybe more their albums, but are like children because obviously you have. Um, you know, have intense relationships with them. You know, you, you go through a process, and most of them, you know, that's a bit of a journey with each one. So there are things I like about all of them, even the ones I don't really like on the whole. There's things that I like them. Like my children. Um, <laughs> uh, pick one. I, I'm, I'm like Justin. I really like No Harm, and I, I always like the slow ones. I'm a sucker for a slow song. Slow, sad songs. Man. Yeah. Um, so I think No Harm is my favourite because it's the most we've ever sounded like. Enya. <laughs> what is your favourite Belgian food and drink? Um, I think mine's probably got to be mules. I love I love mussels. Um, probably duvel, but not too many. Headaches. Go across the board, Justin. <sighs> Just, don't know. Justin isn't at one with food. I'm, like not, Fritz, I'm not at one with food, especially when we're here, we're doing promo or gig, I'm definitely not at one with food in, in, in no. Belgium. Um... But I don't mind a few Belgian beers. You do? What was that one you had the other night? Promo beer, nice. Jupilers. Yeah, you're a big fan of the Jupiler. Jupiler, because you can just throw them, throw them around, man. They don't affect you. You can wake up in the morning with no headache. Bland lager. Yeah, bland. If you could sum up Justin with a drink, it'd be bland. Yeah, bland lager. Down the middle lager. Yeah, straight down the middle. <laughs> what would you like to achieve as a band in the next 15 years? I don't know, really. I mean, I'd like to think that in 15 years' time... Um, we're still doing this, but you can't predict that, you know. I mean, it's not science, um, you know. It's art, isn't it? So you don't quite know how how long the creativity kind of collectively is going to go on for. I hope, and it feels really good at the moment. So ideally, we'll you know be talking about Black Gold Two um, and another six records. But um, who knows what life has in store?